Hey guys, this is Chris. Welcome back to my project management sandbox. The last time I have published this episode about how to create a Scrum project in Jira in under 10 minutes, it got a lot of excitement from you guys. So let's continue this topic. Today I'm going to share how to create the most common Jira filters and specifically I will tell you what five filters I personally use on a regular basis. So let's get started! Now we are in my Jira account. You see all the projects that I have in my list. Now let's go to filters. To do this click the advanced issue search. This is the default view, but I personally prefer to switch it to the list view as it gives me more opportunity uh, in terms of analyzing what is currently going on with my tasks. As in the list view, I see all the key elements um, in front of me. So let's get started. The first search I'm going to try out is to search by the task status. This is quite important in terms of the project progress tracking as it gives us an opportunity to determine how many tasks are in the specific status right now and not only this, we can see who is currently working on those tasks that are, let's say, in one of the statuses we are interested. For instance, I would like to find out how many tasks were done across all of my projects. Or I would want to find out the tasks that are in several specific states, like closed, or done. So you see we have here five tasks and I can clearly see what they were about. The beauty of Jira is that it gives you a huge amount of flexibility and it can be built like a Lego. So Finding by only specific criteria is not the limitation of your opportunities within searching through Jira items. So you can also determine the status, the tasks in the specific statuses within the specific project. Increase your search opportunity. What you need to do is to add more filters within the search bar. Now let's have a look at the next status, which is SNE. This is also crucially important in project management, and I usually use this status on my projects as well. This helps me to determine the tasks that are assigned to the specific team member that I'm currently looking for tracking the performance. Now again, we can specify the search by adding more filters within the search bar. Let's see, we would want to find out statuses on me that are currently in progress. You can always save your filter to reach it out quickly next time you are logging in. So I'm going to save this one and I'm going to name it my tasks in progress. Cool. The next third filter that I would want to share with you is time spent on tasks. As you know, estimates are per mountain project, so we really need to know how much time was spent on the tasks the team is currently working on. So to do this, first, what I'm usually searching for is the tasks where the time spent is not empty. It can show me which tasks were actually worked out and where can I find the time log. Let's save this filter as well.
I hope you are enjoying this episode and if so, please pause for a second and give this video a like. This would mean a world to me. And not only this, YouTube will recognize this video is worth watching. By the way, make sure you are subscribed and smash the notification bell. This would help you to get notified about every new video I am posting on my Project Management Sandbox channel. The fourth filter I would want to share with you is the opportunity to determine tasks within the, cre the specific dates. So, for instance, I need to know tasks that were created more than 150 days ago. Oops, wrong sign. Need to do this vice versa. So. The tasks that were created 150 days ago are in front of you. So there are 72 tasks specifically that were created about half a year ago. And not only this, let's determine which of them were already taken to work. So I'm excluding the to-do state. And we see that 37 tasks are currently in work. And the fifth filter that I use on a regular basis and that helped me to keep the track of action and to track the performance on my projects is the search by the issue type. So what I'm talking about is that Jira provides us with the opportunity to create um, to create tasks uh, in different types of them. They call them issues and these types of issues help us to determine the hierarchy and to um, and to visually see the work breakdown structure within our task tracking tool. So here I'm trying to find the tasks that are stories and that are currently in progress. Let's save it as well. Now, let's have a look at all the filters that I have saved in my projects in Jira. Here you go. We have start filters that I use mostly. And the rest of them that, are all, that were also created in order to help me tracking the project progress. Now you know how to create filters in Jira and how to search for tasks in order to find out what's going on with them. And not only this, now you know the five common filters that I personally use in my projects. Let me know if you have enjoyed this episode and what next you would want to learn about Jira. Thanks for watching. Cheers.